Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel. We're willing to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Take another second and hit that like button. What we do here at an alcohol free life channel, we build awareness and let people know out there that you can live sober one day at a time, have a big, full and happy life without the use and abuse of alcohol. How do I know that? Because I have that life. I've worked on myself one day at a time for decades. And now I have the best life. I have a great life. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. It's pretty damn close. It really is. So don't think you can't have or get what you want without the booze. Okay. Cause you can, you really can. Okay. So what this video is about today, this video is about three things in your sobriety that will affect your happiness and, and affect your sobriety for sure in a negative way guarantee it guarantee it if you're not in recovery this video will help you too because it gets us all not just people in recovery people who are not in recovery it'll affect the first one is the past Woohoo! living in the past the evil past we all have history we didn't get where we were today without history but for me when i sobered up that past haunted me the shame, the guilt, the hurt, the anger, the resentment, all that negativity in that past. That's all I could search out when I went back in the past. It doesn't matter how much you look at the past. It doesn't get better. You know the old saying, there's no future in the past. And if you're having a hard time dealing with your past and you can't let go or your mind is going back, drifting into the past, you need to stop doing that. There's mechanisms and 12 step programs, fourth, fifth steps, eight, nine step that it can help you deal with your past. If you can't deal with your past on your own through the steps or through your recovery program, go and talk to somebody, confide in somebody, talk to them about it, get it out, put some sunshine on your past, get rid of it. Don't live there. Remember there's no future in the past. There really isn't. And the one thing is guaranteed. The more you think about it and not learn from your past as a lesson, not sort of like a torture test, but a lesson, the more we let go of our past and deal with our past pains and all that stuff that makes us hold on to it, that we deal with that, the less we are to repeat that past. There is no future in the past and your future in your past does not define you. The second one that will you find troubling, it will hurt your sobriety in a negative way and definitely affect your, your happiness is living in the future, living in the future. You know, those horoscopes and astrology and all that kind of stuff. They can't predict the future. That's all a bunch of BS and you can't predict the future either. You can't. We as alcoholics, like to live in the future sometimes but that can build fear anxiety it can make us depressed all those kind of things and it could screw up our day for sure thinking that we want something else or we should be somewhere else maybe we feel that we won't be in a, a positive relationship we feel our credit won't get any better our health may not get better all those things that we fear in the future that or we want in the future that we think may come true or may not come true screw up our present living the the way we're living right now the best way we can predict our future is the way we're living now if you try your best at recovery and doing the being the best person you can on a daily basis what you got to work with your days will add up to weeks your weeks will add up to months and years will add up to decades and i tell you something I tell you something, stay out of the future because it'll screw up and make you unhappy and it won't give you contented sobriety. But I'm telling you, look after what needs to be done today, 100%, the best you can, and you'll have a great future, believe it or not. But you can't make your future happen mentally or thinking about it or maybe thinking all the stuff you lost and you need to make up in the future quickly. Just work on today and that will be enough guarantee it it will because the past and the future take up a lot of space in our mind and what we do is we screw up today we screw up today really so try not to do that 
and it takes work and I understand that it takes work and it's hard. It's very, very hard, but you can do it. You're the only one that can do it. When you're thinking about the past, stop it. And when you're thinking about the future, stop it because you're screwing up what's going on. You're missing out what's happening right now if you do that. What's happening in your present recovery right now, okay? So practice that. And the third one I wanna talk about, and I think it's a big one. Again, I did it, definitely did it. I had a lot of low self-esteem. I didn't think I could run my life. I had a lot of problems, a lot of difficulties in sobriety, especially early sobriety. Trying to find happiness or sobriety, a contented life, in people, places, or things. You know, like getting in a relationship, thinking a relationship's gonna help us out. Uh -uh, it won't. If you can't have a relationship with yourself, it's gonna be hard to have a relationship with somebody else. Or thinking, if you have more money, your life's gonna be better. Well, it's gonna be easier. You'll drive a fancier car, or you'll be able to get your house painted by somebody else, or you won't be in debt, so you go out for dinner and all that kind of stuff, or you maybe be a big shot and lend money to people. But I had money and I have money now, but not as much as I did before. <laughs> Believe me, I, I married somebody. We had big income, quarter of a million, 300,000 a year. I thought I died to went to heaven. We had a nice house. We had everything we wanted, but that marriage got sick. I got very unhappy and I got depressed. You know something? I was looking for happiness in a beautiful woman in money. And I forgot about myself. I forgot about my own growth, okay? So when it comes to people, places, and things, they may give you a sense of contentment, a sense of happiness, and a sense of well-being in the short term. But in the long term, when it comes to your sobriety and your content of sobriety, it won't hold water. It won't. If we are not good with ourselves, if we are not whole with ourselves, nothing out there outside of us it's going to make us happy for a long term. Our happiness and our contented sobriety only comes from inside us. So those are those three things that will really affect your sobriety. Living in the past, dwelling in the past, living in the future will really affect your sobriety. You know, building up expectations of the future and trying to find things in people, places and things outside of you that makes you happy, that you think it'll make you content and happy with your life. Well, I'm gonna tell you something, that ain't gonna work. That is not gonna work for you looking outside of yourself. Like I said, sobriety and happiness are an inside job, okay? It's an inside job. If you like my video, please subscribe. If you didn't like my video, please subscribe. But can you all do me one favor? Can you hit that like button? I'd really appreciate it. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we're going to live sober one day at a time. Remember, sobriety is freedom. Living one day at a time off the use and abuse of alcohol is freedom and it's possible, it's possible to do for you. If it's possible for me, it's possible for you, okay? So ciao for now. See you later. God bless. Take it one day at a time and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.